Do you ever get the feeling that no matter how hard you try to do something, you keep failing at it over and over and over again? Well, the chances are whatever you're doing, you need to change that. So in today's video, guys, we're going to talk about three things that you should change if you are failing at dropshipping or generally just business online um, or even well, just business in general, you need to change these three things. OK, it's really important. Now, the reason I'm doing this video, I just flipped on the camera because I've been getting some emails today. I've had the privilege to help a lot of people over the last few years with online business. A lot have succeeded, a lot have failed. And the ones that fail, they have three things in common that they always seem to do. Now, actually, one of them is really common. And we're going to talk about that uh, as well. But three things that are in common that they fail at all the time and they, they're too stubborn to change. It really comes down to being too stubborn to change. A lot of them fight me on it as well. So let's jump into it. Now, before we jump into the video, guys, remember I give away an entry to one of my courses every Friday. So remember to subscribe, like, and comment below to get an entry into that. Now, before we actually get into the three things, we need to kind of, I want to go on a bit of a backstory. So years ago, when I was 12 years old, my mother said to me, well, I actually asked my mother, uh, can I get a, can she buy me a cell phone, my first cell phone. She said, Franklin, go and get a job. At 12 years old, I walked down to the local shop and I got a job for like $3 an hour or whatever it was, stacking shelves. Uh, and then I got kicked out of school at 15 years old and I really had, I didn't know what I was doing, where I was going. Now, throughout my teenage years, I had all these jobs, got fired, I had working. And I failed at a lot of stuff, but I slowly started to realize that I keep failing at these things. It's not working, so I obviously need to change. And then once I figured out that I need to change what I'm doing and whatever I'm trying to succeed at, I started to get success. And then in 2000, uh, sorry, when I was 25, 26, I started online and then I became quite successful online. But it was because I stopped being stubborn and I listen to people online and mentors and whatever, and I started to follow what they're doing and I started to succeed. Now, the thing is, there's all these methods out there and they work. We know they work. I'm gonna put up some results right now. They work, but if you, if you just keep staying in the same thing over and over again, you won't succeed because obviously whatever you're doing is not working, okay? Now, let's go with the first thing, okay, is business. You need to treat anything online like a business, but the problem is people seem to think that there's just this magic button that you push and you make money. They seem to think that online is completely different to running any other type of business. It's not. You are running a business just like anything else. And what I mean by that is I will get emails from people that say, hey, this isn't working. Can you check out my stuff? I'll be like, sure, send me your ads. What's, what's up with that? And they've spent $9 on ads and they're like, this stuff doesn't work. Nine bucks, that's a cheeseburger combo. Like, are you serious? Nine bucks on ads? And you and it's of course it's not gonna work, right? That's the number one thing. People don't treat this like a business. Now, although you don't need to start a business straight away when you're doing drop shipping or whatever, you, you know, you can just make money into your bank account and then get an accountant later and sort of that tax tax stuff out, as long as it's before the um, tax end of tax year. But people don't treat it like a business. It's about profit losses. You need to put money in to make money. And if you're gonna start drop shipping and only spend five, 10, 20 bucks, even up to 100, even up to 500 bucks and call it a scam or say it's not working because you haven't made any money, that's not how you do it. Now, running any type of business, you need money. Uh, depending on what type of business you run, it can cost you up. I remember a friend of mine started a construction company. It cost him like $20,000 in materials and tools and vehicles. It costs thousands of dollars to start businesses. Now, some people think online is different. Now, it kind of is. You don't need as much money. And there's also the um, benefits of freedom online. It's just a lot easier. But you still need to spend money to make money. That's what I don't understand about some people. So if you're going to jump, if, if you are going to jump into drop shipping, I would recommend you have $500 plus to start testing products and um, treat it like a business, okay? You really, really need to treat it like a business. Let me just turn my phone on silent. There, we're getting sales. Um, treat it like a business, okay? So important. And um, I, when I first started online, I was really stubborn like that. I didn't want to spend money. I didn't want to buy softwares. I really just didn't want to do that. And it wasn't that I didn't have money. It's because I thought, Oh, I don't need money to make money online. Why? That's not how everyone teaches it, but that's really how it is, okay? Number two, guys, is testing products. 
people don't test enough products. They will go and find a product and just because someone said it works, they will go and test it and it doesn't work. And they'll be like, okay, this sucks. I'm not going to do this anymore. You should be testing at least, I reckon, back when I was started doing dropshipping, I was testing 10 to 30 products a day. Uh, it's not as bad now because there are tutorials you can follow to kind of get you a bit of, a bit of guideline. I mean, there was nothing when I was doing it. I was the first one teaching this stuff, uh, one of the first ones. Um, you need to be testing at least five products a day right now, I think, in my opinion. And what what happens is you 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 waste all this money, right, when you're first doing it. It's, it's, it always happens. You waste all of this money. Now, what happens is... Um, you waste money, you waste money, but then you might be at 400 bucks down and then you'll get a winner and you'll crack it. And that winner will make you 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 100,000. It can really change your life, just that one product. And then, and, and that's where it kind of goes back to business. Like a lot of, it comes to stats as well. So let, let's just kind of get something straight on the business side of things as well that I think a lot of people don't understand. In real life, like offline, um, 95% of, uh, sorry, over 50% of businesses fail in the first year. Over 95% of businesses fail in the first five years. There's no different to online. So what happens is a lot of people will say, oh, this sucks. It's a scam. It doesn't work for me. Well, you're just another stat. You're just in the stats. Like it's not going to work for everybody. Um, and I'm not saying dropshipping not going to work. For, I'm not saying um, the whole online thing's not going to work for everybody. I'm saying maybe that particular method, but it's no different. Um, online business and offline business, they all run under the same stats. Like when they say 50% of businesses fail in the first year, they mean everything, online, offline. Uh, and the first 95% fail in the first year, uh, first five years, sorry, that's the same. It's all combined. It's not like it's not like offline um, has a uh, success rate of 95 fail in the first five years and then online 100% succeed in the first five years. For some reason, everyone seems to think that's what happens. It's the exact same thing. Okay, just wanted to point that out because I was supposed to do that back in the business um, one. Now back to consistency, guys, you need to be testing, I would say at least five products per day. And then you, you really need to get aggressive with this stuff. If, it, if, if after three or four days, you haven't had one sale, cut it, cut it, cut it. Just don't get emotionally attached to the product. Cut that product out of your advertising, right? That's really all there is to that because you're just gonna sit there wasting money, wasting time. Um, and that's really it. Test lots of products. If you are not testing, basically, if you're not spending enough money, like you're really tight and you get stubborn and you, you're like, oh, this isn't going to work, um, and you don't test enough products, you are 100% destined to fail. And I know this because I've been in this game myself for a long time, and I have students, and there is a very, very big difference between the ones that fail and the ones that succeed. The ones that succeed are not stubborn and they're willing to listen to other people and implement different strategies, implement their own strategies and put in the money. The ones that fail always seem to be the ones that don't spend enough money. They think it's a scam after spending like 20 bucks and they and, and they test one product and they're like, okay, this doesn't work. Okay, that's the big difference. Now, number three, guys, is consistency. Um, this is kind of like goes with everything. Consistency. If you're not consistent at something, it's not going to keep making you money. Um, now, it, it's kind of different like with passive income, say affiliate marketing, it, that becomes really passive as you go and you usually don't have to really keep on top of that. You don't have to be consistent in the long game. With dropshipping, you are paying for ads. When you stop those ads, your income is not coming in anymore if that's the route you go. Um, so you have to be consistent. You have to, once again, be consistent with testing products. You have to be consistent with your ads. You have to be consistent with testing new things and strategies. Now, the, the, there's like this myth that working online, you can get to sit on the beach and spend two hours a day on your store and enjoy freedom. It doesn't really work like that, especially when you're starting. It's like a nine to five job, just you can sit in your undies at home and you don't have to sit in traffic. Running an online business is a nine to five job. Um, well, actually for me, it's like a seven in the morning till two at night. I do really big hours because I want to make as much money as I possibly can and build up as much passive income streams as I can. I don't have any kids. I don't have any family I hang out with um, because my family is annoying. And um, so I just like to work online. Now, what people do is they won't be consistent. They will be like, hey, uh, someone told me I could make $1,000 online a day by working two hours a day. 
yeah, later on when everything's in place and you are starting to make a bit of money. But you have to treat the first few months or at least a couple of years as a job. So you get up in the morning, you do your daily routine or your morning routine, and then you start and then you, you get you get into your online stuff and you keep being consistent. This is how you make money. Treat it like a job every single day. Set aside a specific amount of time. It doesn't have to be nine to five, be nine to two, whatever, 10 to two. As long as you can get whatever you are planning to do on that particular day done in that specific time frame and make it consistent every single day. Okay, guys, those are the three things that you really do need to change. And I'm, I'm serious, okay? I'm serious. Like, I've made a lot of money in the last few years online. And if I didn't change my perspective on things, if I didn't change my stubbornness, I would have not made that money. I was one of those guys that thought online was a scam, just like everybody else. I always thought online was a scam. I always thought that um, it wasn't possible. I always thought that um, it wouldn't work. And, but something just, there was an it like I was like man but all these other people are making money how how does how does this work so we were all in the same place guys once upon a time okay we don't have, like I don't have superpowers you don't have superpowers um, the big gurus don't have all these superpowers we're all the same we started in the same place now the big gurus might have more money than us but that's a whole other that's a whole other ball game that comes back to money right that comes back to business the more money you have the probably the more successful you will be in the in the end game because you can spend more money and out rank the competition or whatever but that's a whole nother ball game we don't need to jump into that anyway guys i just want to let you know it's three things okay make sure you change them treat this like a business um test as many products as you possibly can and number three make sure you concentrate on consistency consistency always wins if you're consistent at something and what i mean by that is something that's working okay don't can don't be consistent at failing be consistent at something that's working so if you have a product that is working Boom, be consistent with that. Keep doing more ads. Keep testing more methods on that particular product. Um, you will find your own methods throughout your journey in entrepreneurship. All right, that's it, guys. Remember, um, like, subscribe to get into that competition. And I'll see you guys in the next video.